Hey YouTube, I wanted to post this video because I see on YouTube and other places that a lot of people are utilizing this little motor in a VCR and, you know, using it for different things or whatnot. You know, um, a lot of people, you know, you guys know who you are. A lot of people using this, this motor, but what I don't see is a lot of people using this motor, which is also in a VCR. They are both in there, except this one's bigger and stronger and way cooler. But yet, I don't ever see anybody playing with this one. Everybody wants to play with these guys, which are... There's one right here. You know, and it's a cool little motor, don't get me wrong. It's got another part to it that is unrelated to the motor, but it's a VCR part. But that's the motor, basically, is that little guy on the back. You can see it right there. Um... About the size, it's about the size of this motor right here. This came out of a floppy disk drive or something. But yeah, anyway. So I just wanted to get on here and I had a VCR. And before I took it all apart to get my motors out of it, I wanted to show you guys. I've already got the top open. And here's the first one that's obvious right there. And then there's a regular DC motor here. And then there's something down in here. You can't see it, but it's there. So let's open it up. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. I bet, you know, I, I kept wondering. I'm like, man, why does nobody mess with this motor? And I got to think about it, got to think about it. I was like, I bet there's a bunch of people that don't know about it. Probably threw away the VCR and didn't get it out. So maybe this will help you. If you didn't throw it away and uh, you still have it, uh, like me, then you can go back and get it out. So, let's see what we can do to find that drugger. So, let's go here. Is that it? Oh, well, that was it. Now check it out. So, there's the board. And if you look, voila. Maybe you guys didn't know, maybe you did know, but right here, this is actually my favorite one. This is a cool one. That is a brushless DC motor. I think a lot of people are overlooking it, taking that motor right out the top and scrapping it. It's a very unfortunate thing because that's a nice little motor in there. Um, I'm actually rewinding one right here. I tried to rewind it, but I messed it up. It's shorted out, so I have to go and do it with the right wire. I used wire from a transformer instead of, you know, motor wire, so it doesn't have the right coating on it. So I guess it somehow it got shorted out. Oh, well. But this one, I'm going to get this one off, and this is a new one. So let's get it off. And there we go. Of course not. Look at that guy. 
is a nice one. Well, that's weird. I've never seen one like that. That's interesting. There's a coil that doesn't have a winding on it ever so often on this thing. That is weird. Huh. I don't know what's up with that. I'm going to have to see. Okay. So, let's get the other one off and then we'll run both of them. Nice little belts. And we'll see which one's better. A stronger or whatever. That big old thing, but all you really need is that little guy down there. This one looks like a nice one, too. So. Alright. So this can go. And I'll show you how I run them. I'm not going to say that's the only way to run them, but... I will show you how I run them. It works for me. Hmm. Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. This one is out of the ordinary, though. I don't know what they got going on here. So let's uh, open this guy up. Amazing that these motors are in VCRs and we're just now starting to implement these things today and in, in everyday things to make things a lot more efficient. But yet to, we had them in VCRs and it's taking all the way till now to start using them in everything. I don't understand that. Come on, baby. Oh, it's because the wires are holding up. Yeah. Interesting. Just figured I'd show you, there's two motors in a VCR, you've got that guy, 
and this guy. Don't forget about him. He gets left out, I think. Because look at the size difference. I mean, this one's way better, way bigger, stronger. Um, yeah. So if you like, please hit the like button. If this helped you in any way, please leave a comment or subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot of stuff up to come. Gonna be doing a lot of projects. Um, one of my favorite ones are making generators and you can see I just put my magnets all around this guy and um this is an old ceiling fan and it makes a awesome generator so I'll be doing a video on that next um really good generator so if you want to see some more stuff hit that like button hit the subscribe and thank you for watching